Dear Virgos, welcome to my channel. My name is Levy and I'm going to do a tarot reading for you for the first week of August. Um, this is a weekly reading. If you like, please subscribe to my channel and hit the like button below. And with that, let's get to it. Okay, so it seems like you are struggling a little bit, maybe with work, studying, uh, loads of tasks needs to be dealt with, loads of challenges, you are uh, burdened, but look, it's the end of a cycle, so you are holding everything on your, on, uh, on your shoulder, you have to carry out all these um, uh, issues, problems, probably with other people, your work, your your uh, career related things as well and you just feel like it's a never-ending story. Um, it seems like um, it's a pretty difficult month for most of the signs, at least the first week of the month. So I would just suggest like keep going and be patient because because um, you are at the end of the end of the end of the the, um, the line. So if you make it if you make it complete, then properly by the weekend you will feel pretty good. You feel good about yourself. You feel good about the progress you have been uh, doing, and. Um, and that, that might lead you to some celebration, party, Saturday night fever, everything uh, could go. And why not? You have your friends, your family around. So, so yeah, but um, I also suggest that uh, don't, don't be too uh, harsh. Don't try to force your will on others. Don't try to, um, to cut through everything and everyone to achieve what you want to achieve. Um, Decisions had been made, the seed had been planted, so now it's a bit of patience could actually work in your, in your favor. So when you do the work and when you invest time, energy, money into something and it doesn't turn out the, the way you expected and when you expected it, it might, you might need some more patient, patience to get where you want it to be, to have the reward you were expecting. And maybe it won't be the same what you thought at the very beginning. But everything we do, it's learning. Everything we do, it's mastering uh, our, our skills and we're developing our talents. This is what we're doing here. So uh, there could be a moment when you say, I have enough, this is not working, this is not uh, what I wanted at the first place and um, maybe what you wanted was not right, it wasn't the correct things, you just thought, ah, oh, is this is what I need, this is, what the, this is how it should be done and then right here the tower has the tower moment for you in saying, well, you have built that tower around you. You have built a tower and you haven't built a door on that tower. So it's a great moment when you just, the only way out is through the window. And it's, it's interesting, it comes out for every single sign uh, this week because we all building something around us. We all have an idea of what things, how they should be, what what they should look like, what should they feel like, and what they should be like. And then realizing the universe has a completely different um, idea about everything. And what's happened with us? We struggle. We feel under under uh, tremendous stress. We have nightmares, we have anxiety. It's right here for you. Why? Because 
you have built that tower around you, you have built that idea that things should be this way, and it turns out they are not that way. They are not that way. And, um, and what can you do? Sometimes you have to decide to walk away from things they are not serving you anymore. Walk away from people who are not serving you anymore. Walk away and leave all the empty cups behind because there are some more waiting for you. You see, this is number one, number nine, and this is number seven. So this is a journey. So if you keep walking, you're getting here. And this is where you want to be and beyond this. So um, just keep going. Don't let anything hold you back. Don't let anything uh, drag you down. And you have the, the hanged man right here. That's again, it comes out for more than one card in this reading for next week. Uh, let yourself off that hook. Let yourself uh, off. Because hanging upside down, it doesn't serve you anymore. It might have been served you in the past. You might have realized <coughs> something. You might have um, got to a certain understanding. You developed certain skills and and um, just just being being um, in that that position. But the world, the viewing the world from an upside down position, it's not really as it, as as it is in reality. The universe has created this world, so we are on our feet, not on our head. If, we, if the universe were created this world for us being on our head, then things would have been different. So we don't want to hang upside down and, and look at the world upside down because it's a different world. It's not the same as, as if you look at uh, it with stability. We are grounded, our feet on the ground. And that's why our feet create the stability that that a human being can 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 stand okay you made right choices you made right decisions so now don't uh, don't regret those decisions um, you have to be patient and wait for those ships at the background to uh, come to the shore or take your goods out to set to to a different place to sell you have done this you have already made right decisions um, in the past so the hard work continues i'm not saying it's, it's gonna be it's gonna be done and you know you you straight away you have all you wanted in life but uh um challenges will be apparent still in this this the following uh, following weeks as well not just in the first one so as, as much as you are in the end of the cycle, um, there are new, uh, new challenges that are coming up after that as well. And how can, you, how can you deal with them? With strength. Knowing and understanding who you are, what you want, what you want to achieve. You understand already the tasks. You understand exactly what needs to be done, what's the right uh, uh, method. So... You can you tame that lion, and that will help you to get to where you want to be. Because the lion is 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 the task that everything we have to deal with the strength. Uh, this is this is the card of the uh, card of the strength. So what we need we need strength. We need our inner strength to be able to deal with um, what we have to deal with in the world. But also we need to deal with ourselves. We need to control ourselves. We need to have strength to hold on to the ideas we believe in and we want uh, them to, to happen and, and, and that, uh, that are significant in our life. And sometimes it also says that um, shut your mouth, basically. Shut your mouth because sometimes you can say too much. You can say too much and you don't want to say that much. Sometimes things no need to be said. And if you feel like you need to say everything to everyone and you need to tell everybody off when they do something wrong or you know better or uh, you are an expert in this uh, whatever, this is a warning. Uh, no, don't, don't walk through others. Don't walk through other people. 
they might be in a different path in their life, they might be in a different understanding, different world, different um, uh, um, uh, chapter in their life. So not necessary that we have to tell everything to everyone, we don't need to hurt them, we don't need to belittle them, it's just, just uh, be mindful of how you behave with the people around you, with your family, your friends, your work colleagues, um, everybody who is around you, make sure that you treat them well. And if you, if there is something would come out of your mouth that would, would be hurtful, just don't say it. Okay, just swallow it, move along. Just, just move away. If somebody comes to you and say something, and you just, you just feel you wanna, you just wanna rip them apart. Just ignore, ignore them, walk away. Uh, like uh, take the hit and just say, ah, oh, you know what? It isn't worth my time. Okay. Uh, stay away from substances. Stay away from. Uh, uh, when I see the the card of the devil when it comes out, it's a warning. It's a good. The good thing about the devil is when it appears, we know he's there. Okay. So the devil is here. Um, uh, I always associate it with with the chains and uh, what we have in our neck the shadows of uh, our beings right so when it comes to fear when it comes to depression when it comes to possession when it comes to um, um, all the negative instincts we have in our our the nightmares the dreams all those uh, dark um, images uh, what we project in our, what which we project in our ourself so stay away from from uh, alcohol stay away from drugs stay away from from uh, uh, being uh, obsessed with something or someone okay this is about putting yourself in a chain and that's that that's around your neck and you can't move you can't go anywhere and the devil itself controls you so back again where I was in here so when you feel that you know everything and you know best and you know uh, whatever it's like no you're not because most of the time we are in in, in the chain of the devil together with the hangman it means like you holding yourself onto something which might not be the right thing uh, you might better to find a way um, how to release yourself and these are habits as well so bad habits keeps us in a chain bad habits just keeps us in a chain and makes us different uh, how we deal with uh, the people and friends and family around us and the reality is we are in a wrong and they are just trying to point out that no you shouldn't do this or you you uh, you shouldn't do that and um Sometimes those can cause headaches, nightmares, it's right here. Uh, it takes time to realize that, oh, what I'm doing is actually, I don't like myself anymore. Because sometimes when people start disliking you, you might ask a question, oh, why do you don't like me anymore? Well, maybe you became somebody else or you haven't grown, you just you stay the same who you always um, were. And now the world is different. The people expect different things. And and uh, if you can, if you cannot uh, give what they are expecting, then uh, they will go and and look uh, somewhere else where they can find what their needs and wants are. Um, be careful with money. Be careful with time, energy. Where do you invest your things? Because there is a limbo uh, situation comes where. You might have to like um, juggle with your uh, with your material uh, aspects in your life. So while you're waiting for those aspects to come and profit and, and bring your um, what bring the, the reward that you are invested in, it might it maybe take longer time. It might not happen the same uh, way as you expected and the same speed as you as you expected. Uh, so be mindful of that. It might be some some financial um, juggle, some some more um, attention needs on, on that aspect of your life. It's not a financial advice. It's just uh, uh, the, the cards are saying that that 
make sure you, where you what you spend and what you what you earn they are in 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 balance and if you it's a period when you don't earn that much then then cut back your spending you don't need to be a financial you don't need to be a financial advisor to to sort of uh, say it. i'm talking about energy here right so it's true with money energy your time your talent your wisdom anything what is is material in this level make sure you get what you deserve as well so don't just waste your talent on something don't just waste your time on something and if you don't get something back um, evaluate is it really worth doing it so um, so then you don't get disappointed because you might get disappointed expecting uh, experiencing the people just take things for granted taking your time for granted, uh, taking your earning for granted, taking your energy for granted, and they just walk away and you stay there with nothing. They just take away because you freely um, give it to them. And if you are not mindful and you say, well, I don't get anything out of it, I don't understand why I'm doing what I'm doing, then um, it's a time to unhang yourself and say, well, this is it, I'm done, I'm leaving. Same with the devil as well right here. I'm done. That's it. I'm leaving. I don't want this uh, a bad situation. I don't want. Uh, I don't want to be in this uh, negative, uh, dark place anymore. I'm done. I'm leaving, and I walk away. This is it. And if they don't like it, they don't like it. Doesn't matter. It's about your life. And uh, exactly, the cards here, the the two of ones, shows you that it's not enough looking out to the world. You have to make decisions. You have to make the decisions to to I'm gonna take this path and this path might be different from what path you were taking up to now it might be different and maybe people think like yeah but you used to be this or used to be that and I know you no longer that well you want to have you want to um, um, this is evolution you want to move on to something better something more uh, worthwhile we, we want to grow we want to be somebody uh, who is better than uh, the person was yesterday. So I suggest um, keep that in mind. Uh, when something appears in your life that it is, uh, it could be potentially bad or evil or um, very negative, be strong enough to say no. Because again, when the card comes up, the devil, it's, it means it's right there in front of you, okay? So sometimes, as they say, the devil is in the details. So you don't, you don't look, you just look at things in an in a, in a, in a overall, uh, in a big picture, and you can't see the details. So maybe sometimes you have to look into the details, the, the fine print. There is something there that tells you that if you put your chain um, on your neck, getting out will be really 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 tough really difficult okay so doing something once and twice and three times creates a habit creates a chain uh like smoking like you start with one and then it leads you down to to hundreds or thousands or 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 whatever so that is not a good path because it's uh linked to the devil the devil nicely holds onto you. Uh, he's happy, he's or whatever. He's happy, he's fine, but you are suffering together with other people. You are. You have no clothes. You have no nothing. You just a toy. You don't want to be a toy. Please don't be a toy. Let yourself go. Let yourself free from anything that related to the devil. So thank you very much with that. Let me uh, take um, three cards from the Sacred Destiny Oracle deck. So what's the message from the universe um, for you, dear Virgo? The one is power. You have the power within you to control where you want to go, what you want to be. The second one is miracles. Um, trust the universe will give you will give, we'll give you the right right um, miracles at the right time. So you don't have to do everything yourself. You don't have to do everything alone. 
but if you trust the, the universe that you have the power and when it comes you get the miracles then um, you will be just fine and the last card is illumination exactly what I was saying before not everything is what it appears the devil appears the card appears it shows that there are things in your life that they are not what they are they, they appear and there is something behind those that you need to focus on you need to focus on because you might be you might being led by the chain somewhere where you're not gonna be so this is illumination things are not what they are they, things are just appear something but um, not completely clear okay and let me take um, some cards from the from the numerology deck as well if you like this video please hit the like button below I really appreciate that okay so we have love partnership we have teaching and learning and we have healing <clears throat> so partnership look at this this is not the kind of partnership you want to find okay these two the man and the woman together in a partnership uh, under devil this is not a loving partnership i mean you might think it's love and you might think it is the connection what matters but they all go down to the devil so um, what you want is love and partnership uh, a real love and partnership that helps you both of you to grow to develop to go towards enlightenment not towards the devil okay um, teaching and learning you don't know everything you don't know everything so it's time to learn time to move on get some new knowledge if necessary um, find a teacher find a guru find somebody who can um, help you and guide you through this transformation this this transition and ask for help back again to the to the devil if you are in a situation and you need professional help please please go and find professional help that could be a teacher a guru a mental uh, um, a mentor um, a doctor whatever is your situation find an expert in in uh, in that and where healing comes is next so if you find the love partnership the people around you can help you to find the right uh, path and then with the right person with the right help healing will come so with that dear virgo virgos thank you very much i uh, hope you enjoyed and please subscribe and i will see you in the next one Thank you.